All right, quick video about making a giant mess. Used a router with no vacuum. Um, these Sugatsuni hinges are pretty cool, flush mount. However, the instructions that I followed on YouTube with these templates, or I'll also fucking nick that. Great, good work, dummy. Um, say to pull, first you make a pass with the quarter inch to get these tabs, right? And then you're supposed to screw the tabs into the little recess and then go again. But there aren't any, you need a whole nother bit. Uh, and you know, the instructions on the webpage say get a one inch bit, a one inch uh, template bit, pattern bit, whatever, and a quarter inch. So I have those, you know, that's $60, $70 worth of bits right there. Anyway, if you'd cut this part out shallow and then screw these in, you don't have the right depth with the one inch bit that they give you. Like that's good from the top. So the real way to do it, despite what it says online, is to cut out the deep cut first, right? With these tabs, I had to tape them back in place. This one came out a little better. And then go over the whole pattern when it's open with the quarter inch bit to get these tabs out. Like here, I had done it first with these. And then it's like, well, but then you need a three quarter inch bit and you have to go all the way down. How, but then you don't have the guide here, right? So the best way to do it is to keep these tabs in, cut the deep channel, pull off the tabs later, and I'll show you what that looks All like. All right, so what you would do, this is already cut out because I did these first, but once you have this deeper part cut out, then you go back over the pattern with the quarter inch bit. This thing would be clamped in and screwed. You make a little guide here for the door edge, right? And then it just fits in there. I mean, they're really cool, very expensive hinges. Ain't no joke, dude. They'll hold like two hinges will hold 240 pounds or something. Anyway, now it's done, but doing it backwards was really annoying. Don't do it that way. Pay attention to my video, not the one, the official one. And another thing to remember, because I was like, oh, I'll shim them with these to make them the right height. The hinge tabs are specific. This one's like a little bit, it's probably two mil narrower, the one for the door. This is the frame side. You can see how the hinges will line up eventually. Um, so I'm going to sink some screws in here that holds that in place. This holds this in place and you just clamp down the wood so it doesn't skip around when you're using the giant router. Um, I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. All right. As you can see, I now have the deep hole. I got to, <clears throat> I'll chisel that out once I get, now I pull these screws out. This thing's still in place. Zip out the quarter inch. So you have the, the tabs real fast and then you're done. The video that exists online says do it in reverse. It doesn't make any sense to do that, but that's how they told me to do it. So of course the first time I fuck everything up. The second time it goes really smoothly because it's like, you know, experience. And I could cut another door, door piece, but I'm not gonna do it because I don't really care. All right, that one's in. Now I just got one more to do. So much easier though. All right, what a pain in the butt. Hopefully the end result will be worth all my suffering. You know, first world suffering that is. Oh, you could afford $200 hinges, poor baby. Um, <clears throat> anyway, the reason I'm just having them on the two by fours right now is because I made a metal frame. This will all attach to the paneling. Uh, we'll attach to that later because this is gonna be the thickness of the wall and a custom door three and a half inches thick was going to be ridiculously expensive. Whereas the metal was, you know, $80, maybe $90, $100 for a three inch tube. When you add the quarter inch on each side, you get three and a half inches. Boom, you're done. Anyway, um, I'll post a video later of how it all worked. But what I'll probably do also is go through the wood here into the metal with these countersunk screws. So the hinges are attached to the metal and then I can go through, I can do more self tappers along here. I'm gonna putty them up. I mean, this is the only place you're ever gonna see. The other part's gonna be on the frame. So when this closes, you know, this is against the metal. It's like they work. Oh my God. All they had to do is provide the right instructions and then it wouldn't have been a big deal. Anyway, whatever. 
It's gonna look cool. It's gonna be a disappearing flush door. You won't even know it's there. You'll be like, I thought this was a three bedroom. It's like, it is. Good luck finding the other bedroom. Hell to the yes, motherfucker. Whew. Fair bit of work. But look at that. It's still red. The floor has a little hump here, so it rubs a little bit right in this one spot before it gets free again. So I'll probably just sand down the bottom a little or just keep rubbing on it. And then... Uh, and then it'll, just, it'll basically all look like this, you know? I'm not going to do drywall on this side. That would be kind of overkill and I don't feel like finishing it out, but... That's it, man. It works. Another thing that works. And then this will be just wood paneling. And I'll probably throw a couple of blocks in on the inside so that I can attach it there too. And probably put an insulation in there for sound. And then it'll just be flush. It'll look like the wall. Like imagine. Right. You'll be like, where's the door? Oh, there isn't one. Oh, yes, there is. Ha!